Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Blades of Binding Wise again with Plus. We're a god, etc., etc. Not really a god. Having some god tier runs though, based on what we're getting. Ooh, proptosis, but also unknown. Or, sorry, Curse of the Unknown. Z1PF9T4R. Blank card is a lovely item. If we could get even the lover's card, I would be like, that's good enough for now. And I'm not really salty about Revenge Fly either. Apart from that, our stats, uh, Rate of Fire is great. Damage is even better. Damage is like endgame level. HP is unknown. But if we have like, honestly, if we have one Red Heart, one Spirit Heart, I think we're probably fine. If we have one Red Heart, anything could happen. Well... Worst case scenario, I think we have to have at least one red heart, one spirit heart, or maybe four spirit hearts. I think you can start maybe three spirit hearts. I think if, if the cards are really bad, you can have a two HP Eden start that's only spirit hearts. But it's on the rarer side of events for certain. Don't even start with me. Dude, remember when we thought that the haunt was like, oh, he's almost done it. Remember we thought the Haunt was the hardest conceivable boss in Afterbirth? This is pre, like, champion mega fatty. We're fine. Don't even worry about the curse room on this floor. Just play it cool. Don't put yourself in any risk. HP is actually great. That's probably a library. It's a bad library, but a library nonetheless. And uh, we're looking good right now, anyway. Let's try something like this. Get the... Uh, that's not small. Rock. Oh, my God. Lucky Rock is our trinket as well. I never look at Eden trinkets um, when I start the run, but when something fishy happens, and by the way, it's a bad habit, I should look at them as soon as I start the run, because, you, you know, they could be useful right away. Not that we have any, uh, uh... Not that we have any bombs to begin with, but still. Let's keep it going here. One more penny, and we could go to our... Oh, man, we're gonna get Beelzebub. Not right now, but very soon, probably. Um, are there any fly items on the deal with the devil? I'm trying to think. Maybe not, but... We should keep it in the back of our head. Definitely there's shop items. Dude, one bomb. One bomb. One bomb is so good. Oh, one bomb, please. Or a key and a penny is also amazing. Um, go to the shop, buy a bomb. Use the bomb to get a bomb and also blow up like four rocks and possibly find the second secret room. Yes, please. Brain's already churning and burning. Trying to figure out, you know, how we're going to get this run to work. I don't know why I slipped into a Matthew McConaughey accent, buddy. You got a problem? It's not very good. <laughs> but if you shake your head when you say it, well, you can make a mountain out of a molehill, buddy, but that don't mean you can surf off it. Stay copacetic. Okay. This was actually awesome. I honestly, you might think that this, I'm disappointed with what we got. Like, okay, that I'm disappointed with that. But, like, Book of Belial obviously is no immediate effect. But I took it for the precedent. And I took it for Bookworm chances later. And etc, etc. But, um, I'm really, really happy. Not just that we got one bomb. But this second bomb has, is uh, quite helpful for us as well. Um, what's the ticket? What do you do here? I mean, this is a juicy room. But... We don't really want to trade a bomb for like six cents. We can get more value. Key is important as well. Because I think a bomb will pay for itself if we buy one from the shop. Another key. Um, and it's not... I, again, I think it's like a clever versus uh, actually smart sort of situation. Sure, there are plenty of places we could throw down one bomb and get a lot of money. A disproportionate amount of money. But I don't think that's what we want to do now. Ah, you can make a savings account out of your weekly allowance, paper boy, but that ain't gonna get you equity. All right, all right. Okay, so first you look for the secret room because I'm I'm a traditionalist, and we get two sacks out of that. Wow. Um, we could teleport to the item room about a million times, and then the second thing that you do here is you give yourself another bomb and some money. And then, we know the second secret room is not there. Which means... Uh, there's a couple of locations for it. Let's peep this. You gotta go BFF. But we also... Uh, I don't want to walk. <laughs> it 
It's extremely bad use of Lucky Rock. Okay, you know what? We try this then. Emperor. I mean, would I rather have stars or Emperor? Doesn't matter, honestly. So that was a botch. We should have just uh, blown up the rocks and we probably would have gotten like at least 8 cents. So, okay. Plan C. It's a terrible item. We don't want to be here. Get the hell out of here. I don't really want to fight bosses right away, but Blank Card Emperor is not a bad thing. I don't want you to think that this is like a speed run. And to be honest with you, I need to be tankier before I really consider like just blank card emperor as our, our be all end all. Although it's quite good even like as it stands right now, but um, okay, pageant boy, not necessarily bad. Without bombs, we don't have any money, so I can live with it at least. And okay, this is very good. Uh, what do you do? I don't think we want the nail, but so if we spend one heart, it will leave us with only spirit hearts. So I think we want to do it like this, and then like this, which will leave us with two black hearts and the ability to fly. Um, why like that? Because I think we only had one and a half spirit hearts. So I'm pretty sure we traded... Um, I'm pretty sure we traded... One and a half spirit hearts for two black hearts. And the ability to fly, and the invincibility. So, I mean, obviously, that's a trade I can be pretty happy with. But, um, for now, let's just do some exploration. And, of course, you know, we didn't necessarily... Eh, that's fine. We didn't necessarily have to, uh... Take dark matter. We could have just taken empty vessel. I think it would that would have left us with three and a half spirit hearts. Which is not bad, obviously it's better, but we'd be missing the damage upgrade and the fear shot. Whether you consider that, you know, good or bad, uh, is is up to you on a personal level, I suppose. So unfortunately, left hand is very tempting here. But I'm not gonna take it. I think we can still get good use out of our existing trinket. You know, blow this up, blow this up, get some luck upgrades. Let's go. We didn't get any luck upgrades, but let's go anyway. So I'm thinking you want to terminate this floor. Dun 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 dun. That's the that's the theme of Terminator. Um, you know, Terminator's theme. This is a song about Terminator. It's called Terminator's theme. Um, no, I'm thinking we want to uh, go to the curse room last, so we can teleport out. Dude, the invincibility just keeps flickering. It flickered for like a minute straight there. I was confused. I was petrified. Thinking, how am I gonna live without you by my side? But then the invincibility mm, flickered, and I believed that I'd be free. Give me a second. And then I'd clear all of the debris, cause I got lucky rock, and I like it. Okay, this, this is just horrible. Um. Three keys. Well, we know where our shop's gonna be. We, I mean, we don't have to do it last. We can always just go in here. That was actually extremely lucky. And then teleport out, because a half spirit heart actually does matter to us. And then we got some keys. So we'll go into this room. And it's horrible. But that's okay, because we've been disproportionately blessed so far. And then we go to our shop, because, you know, lots of good shop items. We weren't able to buy BFF. But, if we can make up for that with a different purchase, that's fine by me. Dude, starter deck is so good with blank card. So now we got the moon card as well. Ooh, baby, I love your way. And we can use the moon card immediately. We get compost. One spider. That's not very good for us right now, but that's okay. Uh, we have no HP. So, typically, you probably would not want to use your Emperor card right away. These bombs are valuable. Like, really valuable. Um, so, I'm not going to use too many to look for a second secret room that might be garbage. Instead, we'll move along. I was hoping to find an Eternal Heart, though, because the Eternal Heart would mature basically automatically here. And we'd be in a, a great spot as a result. So, I had a feeling that was probably a live bomb. Now, two black hearts is not ideal, but our damage is really, really good. So, I think we've, uh, 
we don't really have much to worry about right now. Now, if I get hit once by a champion or an enemy that does uh, one full heart of damage, I'll feel very differently. Because that'll mean that we're, uh, you know, living on the edge. But for now, I like it. We'll save the Emperor as like a, a teleport card. One thing's for, for certain here. If we were uh, able to maintain this pace, I am very much looking forward to getting an item out of Boss Rush. But for now, uh, I mean, we could get a, an HP upgrade from the boss. But if we don't, we might want to, you know, play it a little cool on Deals with the Devil for the time being. If we're even able to take a deal to begin with. I mean, we've only got a 33% chance of even seeing one. And then only a narrow subset of them would actually uh, be plausible to take. It was alright. Careful. Wow, we actually, like, our prophecy came true. Magic Mush is wonderful. I was kind of hoping for Krampus, but I'll take a free guppy item. And then, uh, Blank Card Justice, Blank Card Two of Hearts. Both not that good. But I think you might as well Blank Card Justice and then use it again anyway. We got a Spirit Heart out of it, which is pretty solid. Not to mention the requisite keys. And take that, take that. Don't need Two of Hearts. Don't really need the Moon Card either, but still. All right, so we were, like, it looks... If you were to look at a screenshot of this run, you'd be like, oh, this is a tough one. Four HP, huh? But in actuality, it's exceptional. We have 18 damage on the fourth floor. Probably don't need to tell you that's a little aberrant. That doesn't happen all that often. Most runs probably finish having less than 18 damage total. And by most, I mean like way absolutely definitely most. Worth noting that we already have a damage multiplier, so we don't really need to... I mean, we'd still obviously... Okay, thank you. Um, love to take Cricket's Head, if it showed up. I wouldn't say no to it. It costs only a key, but, you know. we Something like Capricorn, I don't think is going to be amazing, but we'll still take it because it's an all-stats upgrade. Basically, I'm talking for the sake of hearing my own voice. You know, it's business as usual. Except we can afford to make more mistakes. So you the D6... I don't think we take it. We got a nice blank card situation going on here. What we will do is go grab the D6, use it down here to reroll this fairly bad shop, and you get Mama Mega, and you buy a battery charge, and you reroll Mama Mega, and you get Broken Stopwatch, and what you do then is you go place a bomb. Oh, we do I'm an idiot. I'm actually a moron. Um, we don't have Empty Vessel anymore because of the HP, so thanks for nothing. Anyway, there's Spirit Hearts. Here fun. You gotta check. You gotta check. I'm fine with two teleport cards for now. I know that that was like a serious, oh no, baby, what is you doing moment there, but. Oh. When NL mentions memes, please don't. Okay. Would have been a good time for Blood Bag, but when is it not? All right, let's get the heck out of here rather than walk. Why walk when I've got a perfectly good canoe? Etc. Etc. Dank Depths 1. Minute and 45 seconds or so ahead of schedule. Life's easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. I don't know why in my head that was to the tune of uh, Home Improvement's theme song. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Ooh. Just let that linger, let it marinate and permeate the auditory senses for a minute there. I'm, well, I, mean, I was going to say I'll never be able to hear the Home Improvement theme song again without thinking of that, but how often do you really hear the Home Improvement theme song? Except on Annoyed Grunt. Okay. Oh, no, it's too Zane. It's too Zane. What well, we will do, pick it up. Because, is there any point to this? Yeah, I just want to irritate the game. I want to make the game recognize that I didn't even have any reason to pick it up. I could have easily just teleported anyway. But I want to make the game my badge. So. So we did. What are you doing there? Alrighty then. Get trapped. And get no scoped. Krampus? Yeah, good time for a Krampus fight, honestly. A little lower on HP. Could use a free item of some worth. Ooh, almost got me. Nope, that's pretty bad. Still though, look for cards. Good cards, 
Worst case scenario, we get money. Wheel of Fortune Lovers. Lovers kind of sucks. Ansus is great. Um, but I think we want Emperor and Wheel of Fortune. And the reasoning... Well, I'll use Ansus right now, but... The reasoning for this is that um, Wheel of Fortune is a new item every four rooms on the chest. And the Emperor guarantees us... Uh, basically, that even if we really fuck up and get to low HP, we're, uh, we're in a great spot. I mean, the Sun card is also lovely. We're really spoiled for choice right now. I know it's spoiled for choice, but nobody ever says spoilt with a T in this day and age, so I've modernized it. You can thank me later, Miriam and or Webster. So I think you do get Pokey Go, basically because we can afford it. Come down here, grab this. Don't come around here no more. You got something for me? No, you do not. Oh, good one. Yeah, just walk on the wild side, bud. Um, go grab this. Walked right across the spike. Smart play. I don't like that. I don't like that that just happened. I know there's a sun card back there. I am an idiot sandwich. I don't like that play at all. Let's go explore. Brain, are you okay? I have to ask because, you know, some of these plays, what were you doing trying to kick that bomb? Like, that's just unfathomable. We're still fine, but this is the danger. You know, we've got Isaac Affluenza right now. You start to run with Proptosis, you don't know what it's like to not have 19 damage on the fifth floor. Oh, actually, my damage is only 18.5. <laughs> Silly peasants. Okay. What do we got? Dunce cap. You know what? Let's do it. We need to teach ourselves a lesson, dude. Have we been... We did go to the secret room because that's where I hurt myself. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We really should have this. There's no excuse not to have this. I thought that was dim bulb for a second. You got to admit, it's kind of mushroom-esque. Dim bulb, that is. This is just a mushroom, so it makes perfect sense. We cannot fly, so uh, we don't have the moon card. That's right, so we just have to teleport out the old-fashioned way. Still ahead of schedule, and again, like nothing actually to worry about at all, um, really. But I do want this demon judgment to pay out. I also miss being able to fly, but that's kind of what the uh, Emperor card was supposed to... Or the uh, the Goat Head was supposed to do for us here. So let's take Mom's Coin Purse. It's not... Oh, it's all cards. So it actually is great. Wheel of Fortune. Hanged Man. The Hanged Man. The Hanged Man. So we got a Luck Upgrade just for that. Nothing wrong with that. Stars... Justice, just pop it. Strength, tempting, tempting. So we got Wheel of Fortune, and uh, I mean, we could take Wheel of Fortune stars, but we're gonna take Wheel of Fortune Emperor. Okay, so we're out. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, it's still great. It would be nice, I would, I would replace one of these with a Hero Font card for certain. We're only going to be able to teleport out via the Emperor card. So essentially, we shouldn't go into boss rush until we're ready to not have any more rooms to go. And it might seem like, well, why didn't you take the Stars card then? Well, because the Emperor card is so much better on every other floor. We don't really want that trinket, sadly. Oh, well then, you know, why didn't you get rid of the Wheel of Fortune card for it? Because it's free items, dude. You got a Death Wish? It's free items! Now, this was a very ballsy play that ended up being okay. Not necessarily as good as it looks, because I do want to have more Spirit Hearts instead of Red Hearts so that we can take advantage of Empty Vessel. However, it's a good play. Like, it, it did give us raw HP, which... You know, if you're starving, 
So you, you're in the desert dying, somebody comes up to you, oh, I got an egg salad sandwich, you want it? Oh, no, I don't really like egg salad. Is there anything else? Yo, like, what I'm getting at is we're not in a position to be making enemies right now. Oh, it's a library. Book of Shadows is dope. Book of Secrets is not very good at all. And the Necronomicon, none of which we really want long term. Except Book of Shadows is tempting, but only because I'm an idiot and have taken a bunch of idiot damage. That's two spirit hearts. I've seen it in the prophecies. Ooh, he was half right. Plenty of time, by the way. We have 18 damage, so... I don't know if I've mentioned that enough. But we have 18 damage. What that means is that we're not going to have to worry about the pace at which we're killing mom. We're probably going to get through it just fine. Hero font. It's the hero. It's the hero. The hero font. I mean, we can always just teleport up there anyway. And in, in fact, I... Copy said. In fact, I'm imagining that's probably what I'll do right after this item room. Shop be damned. SMB super fan. It's lovely. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll have to do like one wave of bosses if we want the items. Dude, it's the best Poke Go in the city. So you take the Polaroid, you come in here, absolutely satanic Bible, not really that good. We're gonna kill a couple bosses to grab one item. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this this bad boy right here. Oh, I fucking shoot the whoop, dude. Got to step on the spikes to get back. So that was not idiocy. That's recklessness. Those are two different things. Great pokey go, dude. You're the greatest. So was that worth it for Shoop to Whoop? No, of course not. That's, like, honestly, the question was designed in such a way as to be as insulting as possible, I can assume, because we both know that was not worth it for Shoop to Whoop. Just hold it together. The run is beautiful and innocent and and touching and a contender for best picture this year. Stop giving me HP I can't get rid of. So you're you're gonna be like, you are an idiot. You used to be an idiot sandwich, you graduated. Now you're an idiot, you know, Panzerati. No, you don't understand. I'm not an idiot calzone. Once having holy mantle once every four rooms is not that good. I'm not saying I want it all or nothing at all, like O-Town did, but it's just not good enough to get excited about. I'd much rather have flexible abilities to teleport, and then the occasional, you know, shot at uh, getting an extra item here. So we are going to go fight the boss, that's because we have Curse of the Lost, and uh, I hate it, so... We will get ourselves this deal with the devil, that I'm hoping is going to be like 9 lives and then something we can use to give up our HP. Don't take that yet. Don't take that yet. Could be good, but not yet. Oh, you gotta think about Void. Yeah. Although, wait, no, hear me out here. Suck it up. Goodbye, Emperor card. I love you. But we need to go to a Spades Wheel of Fortune now. The time has come. Let's go. Two of hearts means nothing. All right, let's head downwards here. Why two of spades? Well, I'm, I'm low on keys. We might have been able to get away with using it like twice, but our Emperor card, I'm not going to say it's served its purpose. Like, it's it's overstayed its welcome. It's still great. It's got to be like top three or four. But situationally, feeling a little bit like this is the right call now. Two Wheel of Fortunes actually does nothing so uh are we going to fight krampus yes with a big a not krampus the hush yes with a big asterisk and the asterisk is do we get a lot of keys and the asterisk is uh do we get the guppy transformation and the asterisk is do we have enough hp to stand a chance if not all of those conditions are fulfilled then i'm gonna be a little bit less likely. Dude, these are voids. Oh, you're beautiful. This might actually take me to 99. 
Did I just say these are voids? These are these are battery charges is what I meant to say. Not, to getting 99 here is ridiculous. I am an idiot. Don't listen to me. But it still helps. Oh, why shoot these guys, dude? Just do it like this. Alright, so we're good to go. Mom's hard fight shouldn't be that hard. We can afford to get hit and still, like, survive. Um, we didn't need to do that room. But I would rather not. Okay, so you gotta sadly start with just, like, the worst doubling. Uh, yeah, okay, start like that and then like that. We're gonna get the eight keys. It's a far cry from 99. Um, I think you explore a little bit more because we got the time. And if we're gonna explore, we might as well double again. Because I want to have Void ready uh, for... Not for the boss fight, because we're not going to get an item out of it, but for the deal with the devil. So, I'd like to go into the boss fight with at least a five banger, as far as our charge goes. This will take us to four. Charmed attack fly, not really ideal. Mostly useless. Oh, that's bad. I don't really want to start cracking those, like... Little, little dicey. Tell you though. Oh, I was just gonna say. You're not gonna believe me, but I was just gonna say. I would love to get, uh, to like 32 keys. And then I would feel completely comfortable opening like all of the golden chests on this floor. We don't have a Yara or anything. I just want, I wanted enough keys to like know that we were gonna be able to open things. So if we double... I don't care about wasting a bomb. So double, 16. Double, 32. Then start opening chests, and this is our redemption. Look at that, one spear at heart. <laughs> it's a start, actually. I'm not, not really salty about that. Okay, not that good. But certainly, you know, we're like two doublings away from making this happen. We don't have to sweat too much here. I think you go like this. You go like this, and then you start cracking. Bad. Bad. Very good, potentially. Not that meaningful, but not horrible. So we could look for a void charge. I don't think it matters altogether that much. I doubt we'll find one. This floor is, like, almost over. So if we get a battery charge, more power to us. But um, I'm content to take Bomb Bag. Not feel like it's a big loss. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the pushing. That's what I said. Dude, it's so patronizing. Not even patronizing, like demoralizing. You're busting out your best spinal tap impression, and your cat's just washing his face like it's the most normal thing in the world, which it is in this household, but still, like, give me some respect. Put some respect on my name, please. The looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand, or so I have read. You get the idea. It's Big Bottoms by Spinal Tap. Good work. Good work. We're doing a lot of damage. This would be a great... Oh, okay, cool, yeah. This would be a great time to make Empty Vessel pop. And if you get a switch, you can make the ass drop. That was like a no-brainer. But we are not going to go to the hush fight because that is suicidal. Suicidal when she says it's over. You're too beautiful, hush. That's why it'll never work. Okay, bad. Very good, no good damage. Keep cracking them. Once every six rooms, we're going to double, so... You really should not worry about using uh, keys at this point. We're, we're probably going to have no choice but to hit 99, which is exactly what we want to do. And then, well, having enough to open everything is what we want to do. But, um... Emperor, <laughs> he's done it. You know what? What if we just double our keys? Go to 52. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. Grab this. Use the Emperor card. Then we go down to the next floor. We've immediately got a fifth item. Why use the Emperor card instead of blank carding? Mostly, I didn't want the temptation to finish this run by just, like, going down to the next floor, popping a few items and feeling good. 
It's depriving you of the experience of the chest. And I don't want to do that. I want to follow this blank card, um... Wheel of Fortune to its logical end point. Which is a lot of items. And then by saving our, uh, our blank card usage... We have the ability to spawn a new item immediately on the next floor. So it's actually like, it's not better than a Yara rune, because a Yara improves itself. Every time you use it, the next time you use it, it's worth more. But it can... It equals a Yara rune in four plays, which is like six... Well, 24 rooms right now, so... Um, probably like, it equals one Yara rune. But we can use it itself, so it's actually only 18 rooms. And we're coming down with a full charge, so it's actually only 12 rooms. Curse of the Blind. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, you gotta... You gotta peep it, right? Cursed Eye. Great. Iron Bar. Decent, at least. D-Infinity. Starts with the D-100. The Soul. Very good. Maggie's Bow. Horrible for us in this situation. Um, dare we void your boy... The D Infinity. I I know it'll reroll us, and I like this run. It's weird, and so am I. And I I feel like we're kindred spirits in that. However, what is going on with these shots? However, if we suck up the D Infinity, I feel like there's Zane potential there. Just for God's sakes, do not teleport. You've got the keys to the kingdom. I don't really want to do a big room if we can avoid it. So yeah, I will I will suck up the D100. Will it it will cause us to lose Maybe it won't cause us to lose blank card because we have the D100. Or sorry, because we have a uh, void. Void should store it within itself, if that makes any sense. Um what do we got? how to jump. I mean it's not bad necessarily, but I'm ready for a reroll, and I'm ready for the D-Infinity to confuse the hell out of me. Dude, if you make a head, it's just like the easiest way for me to kill you. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, so... As long as we can... Uh, you know what? Little Baggy ruins it, but that's it. And if we get Little Baggy, we get Little Baggy. It's worth it for the adventure. Like we always, always do it this time. I go for mine, I got the shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, little gish. Basically meaningless. All right. Conjoined. Extreme damage downgrade. Is our rate of fire actually 99? <laughs> Take the battery charge for now, but like... What's going on here? When the ticks actually hit... They're doing pretty well. But we might as well go a little harder than that. What do we get now? That wasn't the D100 this time. That's right. That's right, baby. We do have sad bombs. We don't have cursed eye. We do have broken on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm an idiot. I saw that our rate of fire was 99. And I was like, sick. That's really high. But that's bad. We want our rate of fire, if possible, to be 1. 99 is horrible. Getting, like, ridiculously good payouts on uh, Holy Shot, though. Blinding Light. Thank you, Relic. Isaac's Tears, what an all-time classic. Greatest item in the game right there. That's what I've always said. Throw down some... Fast bombs. I gotta be honest with you, I don't want to be controversial, but fast bombs? More like not really that fast bombs. More like 1997's number one band, Fastball, who sang, Was out of my head, was out of my mind, how can I have ever been so blind? I was looking for a D100. It was hard to find. Please. Oh, he's done it. The Monstro's Lung Shots are excellent when they hit, like, when every one of them hits. Taurus is pretty garbage, but mostly because it takes uh, a million years to get to two speed. We're definitely going to try to reroll. Because either way, we're getting a new item out of it every single time. 
Not a full run reroll. Dark Bomb is is fine. I guess this is uh, this is how she goes, boys. Unless we get a battery charge here. This is how we're going to have to kill uh, the boss. Daddy Long Legs. Not bad. I will say, you know, it's not a horrible full run reroll. It's just bad. Holy Light is pretty good. That Holy Light is actually very good. I shouldn't diminish it here unnecessarily. Um, but everything else a little whack. But the sand bombs are pretty good. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this run a little on the wacky side. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. I think that's 10 wins in a row as well. Yeah, we're starting to build up a little streak. Feels okay, man. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.